Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, I will try to create RDD from an external data source. So let's get started. Let me show my input file to you. This is my input file. It's a comma separated file with around 37 records, including header. So I will be using this file to create RDD. Let me go to my ID and create a Scala object. Right click on the package, go to new and Scala object. I will give the name as create RDD from ext file. And then click on finish. Okay, this is my Scala object. Now I will create the main function that is def main args that is array of type string okay i am using the old entry point of spark that is spark context to use spark context i need spark conf so let's create one so that is val spark conf equals to new spark conf dot set app name i will set the name as create rdd dot set master as localhost you can change it to yarn if you are planning to run this code on the hadoop cluster now let's create a spark context object val sc equals to new spark context and will pass the parameter as spark conf. Now let's read the file. So spark provides a function called text file which can be used to read the data. So I will write it as val data rdd equals to sc dot text file. I will copy this path and paste it over here. We'll change the single slash to double slash. Okay, then again go back and we'll rename it. Just copy the name and paste it over here. Dot CSV. Okay. Now, as you can see, data RDD is of type RDD of string. So let's use this RDD and perform some operations on top of it. So the first thing which I will do is the first element of an RDD. I will write a comment as first element. And to print the first element that is println data RDD dot first. Okay, this will give me the first element of RDD which will be the header of the file. Now let's use some filter condition on top of this RDD. So let's go to the file and let's select the date that is 20160370 and find how many records are there okay so looks like i have three records at line number four line number 25 and line number 35 okay so i will use this as a filter condition so i will just make a comment filter data and will assign a variable as val filter data equals to data rdd dot filter where f tends to f dot contain contains the parameter that is the date okay as you can see filter data is of type rdd of string so to iterate the rdd we have our for each loop so filter data dot for each where f tends to print ln of f okay this will print the three lines of the file with the specified conditions now let's go to the logger level so logger dot logger that is log 4j dot get logger in the class is org dot set level 
and the level is of error so level flock 4j dot error okay now this will print only the error you will not see any warning or info message in the log file the best part about spar is the lazy evaluation that is until you call an action on rdd will never be evaluated so in this code i have first loaded the file but when i apply filter my end result is only three lines so the spark has not loaded all the contents of the file in the memory but has applied filter while loading the content i will discuss more on lazy evaluation in the next video so let's run the code right click go to run as and click on scala application as you can see the first element is the header of the file and then we have only three records with a specified filter condition so friends in today's video we have learned how to create rdd from an external data source and applied filter conditions on rdd if you have any questions let me know in the comment section do hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos thank you